Hey everybody, I am here to give you some tips for hairdressers in particular, but other service-based businesses that can use the same types of marketing. So here's the deal. I met with, finally, some awesome friends of mine. You aren't going to believe this. It is Erica and Fabrizio, her husband, that own Heritage Hair Salon in um, Newhall in, in Santa Clarita. Uh, the funny thing about them is I used to tutor their son uh, years and years and years ago and now he's doing amazing things with his life. There's Erica. Hi there. Um, I love these guys so, so, so much and I'm so proud of their son. I can't wait to see him again. It's been like, I don't know how many years. So anyway, my tips for hair dressers and hair salons and any other service-based businesses. So today I actually met with Erica to talk to her and her husband about marketing her business. So I hope it's okay with you, Erica, that I share some of the ideas that I have. So anyway, here's the thing. For everybody with a business, it is way, way, way cheaper and way less expensive and way less stress to make your current clients feel amazing, special, and part of the family. They will never, ever, ever leave you if they feel like that and you make them feel awesome, it is so much better to keep your current clients happy and coming back and referring their friends to your business than it is to try to go out and market to the whole entire world and get new clients, okay? It's way easier. A few of the things, and I'll probably go off on a crazy tangent, but I'm telling you, a lot of people make a huge mistake when marketing their business. They go out and they buy advertisements and they go try to, to market their business to everybody in the whole wide world, everybody. But you know what? You're wasting so much energy and so much time and spending so much money marketing to people who don't care about you, okay? And it's a terrible thing to say, probably, you might think, but honestly, in this day and age with YouTube, Facebook, reality TV, People want to know about you. They want to know about who you are, what makes you tick, and they want to know that you care about them. Okay, that is the absolute bottom line. They don't care about your particular product that much. They don't care that much about your service. But if you make them feel special and amazing, they are going to keep coming back. And guess what? They're going to be your raving fans, and they're going to tell everybody, everybody, I'm going to fix this a little bit because I just realized I look kind of funny. All right. So, <laughs> so anyway, hairdressers, any other service-based businesses, think about how you can, thank you, Erica, how you can keep your current clients happy. So that's one. Then think if you want to go outside that realm of people, you also need to figure out who your most profitable clients are. The client that you have, and I want you to think in your head, if you right now are watching and you have a service-based business, you have a few clients, probably one, two, three clients that you love. They are exactly the perfect client for you. If you had a thousand of them, you would be in heaven and your business would be profitable. You would be happy and you would love, 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 love your, um, your business and what you're doing for, for that. So I want you to think about who your most ideal perfect client is and then really do some research and find out where do they hang out? What do they like? Where are they? What do they do? What is important to them? What, what do they really want in their life? Okay, so a hairdresser, for example, people that do makeup, salons, anything to make especially women feel beautiful, where are those women and where are the women that actually have the money to pay you to make them beautiful? Okay, so you have to figure out where they are. Are they on Facebook? Are they on, hey Tamaris, are they on Instagram? Are they on YouTube? Where are they? Where are they? If they are on Facebook, and you can do a lot of research. If your clients are, today we were talking, her clients are maybe 60s and 70s. 50s, 60s, 70s, most of those people are on Facebook. Okay, so that might be where you should be marketing. Now, let's talk about how to market them. 
So let's, let's just say that your clients are along those ages and they're on Facebook. You know where they are, you know what they like, you know who they follow, all of those things. You also know how to speak their language. You know how to talk to them, which means you know what's important to them in their heart. What do they really want? A hairdresser, salon, you know, makeup, all those kind of things, they probably want to feel beautiful. They want to feel special. They want to look or feel beautiful for one reason or another. And if it's really, really important to them, then what are they looking for? How, what kind of language or what kind of message can you put out there when you're on Facebook? Let's say you're putting out a Facebook ad, okay? You want to speak to them so they go, oh my gosh, she knows exactly what I want, what I need, what my deepest, deepest darkest desires are. Okay, <laughs> am I going too fast for you guys here? <laughs> I tend to get excited about things and speak a little quickly, so try to slow down. All right, so let me see. We've kind of gone back. You gotta make your current clients feel special. If you wanna go outside of that realm, figure out who your clients are, how to speak their language, and where they hang out. Now, all right, let me see what else I wanna say. Um, once you do that, uh, you want to do something super nice for them. And here's the thing, on Facebook, when you're doing things like this, like I'm doing right now with Facebook Lives especially, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do Facebook Lives, you gotta remember two things. I want you to do only two things on your Facebook Lives or on your videos or even on your Facebook posts, okay? You wanna do two things. One, either inspire them. My battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna make this quick. One, you're gonna either inspire them, so you're going to say something inspirational, or you're going to educate. That is what I'm doing right now. I've decided to educate you and anybody that's interested in the topic that I posted on my Facebook Live. I hope all of you that are here listening, that the reason you're listening is because you're interested in this topic that I'm helping to educate you with. So that's what you wanna do. You don't wanna sell anything. You don't wanna push anything down their throats and try to sell them things. Um, that's what you wanna do. You wanna educate and inspire, okay? People, uh, here's another thing. Uh, one more last thing, because like I said, my battery's gonna die. All right, here's the thing. I want you to think of this. This is so close to my heart and I'm passionate about. A lot of hairdressers, tutors okay that was me back when i had my tutoring center those of you that i've spoke about before that you are your business you need to think of one thing what's going to happen to your business if you go outside and get hit by a truck are you like a hairdresser you lose the the use of your hands okay you really need to think about that and i know i know we all think we're immortal, right? We all think we're immortal, we're gonna live forever and nothing's ever gonna happen to us. Well, I'm here to tell you that speaking from experience, I've been hit by a truck, so it can happen. So you need to figure out how to make sure that your business is gonna continue to run without you if something should ever happen. Plus, who wants to be 80 years old and still cutting hair, seriously? So you want to keep your business going. So here's my last bit of advice. For you hairstylists, service-based businesses, actually anybody that wants to make money, especially online, people will buy your knowledge. Let me explain that. People will purchase, buy, pay money for your knowledge. So my friend Erica is amazing at hair color. She is such a brilliant, brilliant expert on hair, all hair, but she is a really super expert. She loves coloring hair color. She knows what products are going to help help your hair. She knows what colors, how to do the right, how to make everything perfect for you and your particular type of hair. She's just brilliant. So I'm sitting here listening to her tell me all this stuff and my eyes are like huge open learning all of this cool stuff. So what she needs to do is make videos, 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 how-to videos, educational videos. If she's on Facebook Live, which my, Erica, if you're still on here, actually everybody, my, my thing for all you guys, my, my whatever is, you're going to do a Facebook Live every day. Inspire, educate, that's it. Inspire, educate. All right, cool. So record yourself 
teaching things. You, when you do a Facebook Live, you can totally te save this uh, recording. You can put it up on a YouTube channel. You can start building a following. You can put it up on Udemy. Udemy is a place where you can create an online course where you're teaching something and people will actually pay for your knowledge. Cool, huh? And then you can actually add to that. So at the end of your course, you can say, hey, if you want to hire me as your coach or consultant or you want more um, more one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching, tutoring, whatever, then you can get more clients that way and make more money. Think about that, okay? Get your business running without you, train people, record yourself training them, and then sell the training. How about that? Is that good advice? All right, cool. So I'm going to end this. All you guys, hairdressers, any other service-based businesses, I was telling you, keep your current clients happy. Do something to make them feel special on a regular basis. You, I, this is something I learned this week. You, For every month that you do not keep in contact with your client, every 30 days that you do not keep in touch with your current client, you're going to lose you're, there's 10 at least, I, they said 10%, but I think it's way more of your chances of losing that person to going somewhere else. I have the absolute best, lowest cost, amazing tool to keep in touch with your clients that has the absolute biggest, um, uh, uh, the, the biggest impact, boy, I can't even talk anymore, I'm trying to get through this. The biggest impact with the smallest amount of money to keep in touch with your clients and make them feel so amazing. And I have a strategy to do that. If you want to know what that is, I want to talk to you. Seriously. Can you tell I'm passionate about it? Can you tell? All right, cool. Anyway, private message me. Let me know if you're interested. Comment in the section below if you want to know about it. I'm telling you guys, keep your current clients happy, feeling amazing and your business is going to succeed. How was that? Did you guys get something out of that? Perfect. Okay, please go ask, actually subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm just getting it started. I need to get 100 subscribers. I, have, I just started, literally. Um, it is igniteyourbiztv.com. It'll take you to my YouTube. igniteyourbiztv.com. I will see you there. I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Hope to hear from you soon.